spend 10 minutes configuring automatic backup in Linux, and you may save yourself days, weeks, months, or even years of work if something goes wrong. And something will go wrong. In this video I will show you how to configure automatic daily, weekly and monthly backups in Linux using rsync and cron job scheduler. rsync is a command line tool, so if you don't like the command line, you can always go with some graphical programs. For example, I have shown how to use Lucky Backup, which is a graphical frontend of rsync, and there are many other options, explore them yourself. But here we will focus on the simplest solution, rsync and cron job scheduler. RSync is usually installed in all popular Linux distributions, and Cron is usually installed and configured in all Debian based systems, like KD Neon in this case, which is based on Ubuntu. So what I need to do, I just need to configure Cron to run RSync on schedule. And to do that, you simply need to run the command cron tab with option E, and you will see this configuration file. Here I have already configured it daily, weekly, and monthly backup with rsync. So all these three folders are used to store backup from different time. Here is the source folder which I'm going to backup, I will also exclude trash from the backup, and I also have this delete option which means to sync source and destination, so if I remove a file in my source it will be also removed in the destination. And if you are curious about these options, you can go and watch my video on rsync specifically. In this video it is more important to focus on these options. These are the time when the job will run. You can specify minutes, hours, day of the month, which months you want to run this backup and day of the week. So from here you can see daily backup will run at 12 o'clock, at 3 o'clock on Friday I will run weekly backup and at 16 o'clock on the first day of the month I will run monthly backup. I think this is the most reasonable way to make automatic backup in Linux. As you can see my daily and weekly backups will be always overwritten, but my monthly backup will be always saved into a separate folder. And you can see here, the folder will have the date in its name. Of course there are many other ways to configure backups. You can also for example compress your monthly backups, but I tried that and I didn't like it. First it takes a lot of time to run. And second, looking for a specific file in a compressed backup is very slow and it takes a lot of time even just to list files from the archive, I'm not talking about extracting the archive. So for me, this is the best solution. If you have some better solution, please let me know in the comment section. Also it is very important that you always backup into a separate hard drive or even better if you backup to external hard drive. I leave the link to the internal and external hard drive I use in the description, it is an affiliate link, so I will get a small percentage if you make a purchase. So don't wait anymore, go and configure automatic backup in your Linux system. Thank you for watching.